Did you know? All over the world, volcanic eruptions cause humanitarian crises. Inhaling volcanic ash can exacerbate symptoms of respiratory diseases and the ash may contain toxic elements. Every eruption is different, from the size of the eruption to the size of the ash particles, which may be small enough to enter the lungs as they are falling, or if ash is resuspended by the wind or vehicles. Many agencies recommend that people reduce exposure to ash and other types of air pollution by wearing a face mask. But is enough known about the effectiveness of the different types of face coverings? The Hive project found that some cloth materials actually let most small particles through, offering almost no protection. Hive found that folding the material can help, but wetting it does not. Hive also identified that surgical masks are quite good if they can be made to fit snugly to your face. Tying cloth on top can help this. I found that the best masks are industry certified N95 style masks, which are excellent at filtering ash and other air pollution particles. It is still important that these fit correctly, so you might need to try on a few styles. With the Hive Project's help and partnership, we hope that local and international humanitarian agencies will consider the efficacy of different types of masks before recommending or distributing them, and will communicate this information to communities so that they know how effective the masks are likely to be. This work is helping to meet Sustainable Development Goals 3 and 17.